Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code CE1079232 on PS5. Method 1. Switch back and forth between two bands 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. If you are using a wired connection, please skip this method. Now, just go to settings on the PS5. Go to network. Select settings. Select setup internet connection. Go to your current network then press the options button on the controller. Select Wi-Fi frequency bands. Set it to 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz depending on what your Wi-Fi is. If you don't know, try one of them and if it doesn't work then it's the other one. Method 2. Use manual DNS. Just go to settings. Select network. Select settings. Select setup internet connection. After that, go to the Wi-Fi or LAN connected option depending on how you connect, it can be the Wi-Fi or LAN cable. Next, press option button on the controller. Select advanced settings. Go to DNS settings then press X button on the controller to select it. Select manual. Here, I will use Cloudflare DNS. So, I will select primary DNS then type 1.1.1.1. Next, I will select secondary DNS and type 1.0.0.1. Additionally, you can also try with other DNS such as Google DNS, OpenDNS, etc. Once done, select OK, then check if error code CE1079232 is gone. Method 3, Power Cycle the Router and PS5. To do this, we just turn them off, then unplug the power. Wait about 5 minutes, then replug the power. Turn on PS5 and router, then check if error code CE1079232 is fixed. Method 4. Try check the connection and use other connection. If you are using a wireless connection, then try forget that connection. After that, reconnect and check if error code CE1079232 is gone. Next, if you are using a wireless connection, try switching to a wired connection and vice versa. Besides, for users with wired connection, you can try changing to another LAN port on the router. You can also try using a different Ethernet cable to ensure that the problem is not caused by the connecting cable. If the problem persists then try connecting your PS5 to another network, such as mobile data, a neighbor's wireless network, etc. At last, Sometimes the router's security is too strict and will prevent you from connecting to the PlayStation server and their services. So, if possible, try replacing your current router with another one. After that, if the above is true, please contact your internet service provider and request their assistance for this issue. Method 5. Restoring the licenses. Going to the settings menu of your console. Go to users and accounts and select it. Select Other. Select Restore Licenses. Once done, try check if error code CE1079232 is gone.
Method 6. Cleaning the Gain Disk If you are not using a Gain Disk, please skip this method. Try cleaning the Gain Disk properly and gently by using an alcoholic wipe cloth or microfiber cloth. Make sure that there is no dirt, dust, scratch, moisture, fingerprint, etc. left on the disk. This can also help the system to read the disk properly. Method 7. Rebuild Database To do this, we need visit safe mode by turn off the PS5 console, just pressing and holding the power button until you hear a second beep. The power indicator will blink for a few moments before turning off. Once the console is off, press and hold the power button again. Release it after you hear the second beep. One beep will sound when you first press, and another 7 seconds later. Now, connect your controller to the console with a USB cable. Now press the PS button on the controller. Go to Clear Cache and Rebuild Database. Select Rebuild Database. Wait for the process to complete and restart your PS5 console. Most of the time, this method will help you to fix error code CE1079232. Method 8. Delete the game data and reinstall the game. You can delete corrupted game updates by pressing the PS button on the controller. After that, go to Downloads, Copies. Go to the game that is problem then press Option button on the controller, then select Cancel and Delete. Restart your PS5. After that go to Game Library. Go to the game you just deleted. Now, press Option button on the controller then select Check for Update. The PS5 will now check, download and install updates for the game and of course the problem will be fixed. In case the problem still occurs, please completely delete the game and reinstall it. Method 8. Factory Reset Router and PS5 This is considered an extreme measure, but if you have tried all the previous methods and the problem still persists then you can give it a try. So, before you do that, you need to know this means that a process will take place on the device to delete all of your personal data, stored while using the device, and return it to the original state in which the manufacturer sold the device on the market. That's it guys, hope this is helpful, if you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.